Happy Maroon Friday, Bulldogs. I'm meteorologist Alex Bucket with your Campus Connect forecast. Radar is sort of lighting up like a Christmas tree right now. Showers and thunderstorms extending from Itawamba County back down south towards Webster County. And some of these are packing a little bit of a punch. We've got this line of storms now just to the east and southeast of Tupelo near Fulton. This is again stretching back to the uh, west, uh, west southwest. And again, some of these storms could have some strong, some, some gusty winds and maybe even some small hail, but no severe weather with these. This is the uh, Tom Bigby River here. And again, these storms will be crossing that in the next few minutes. Also some stronger storms to the west of Starkville, west northwest of Starkville near Eupora. And again, some of these storms may have some gusty winds in them. This is Highway 82 right here, Highway 12 uh, south of Starkville. This is Highway 45 alternate and Highway 45 in Columbus. These storms will be pushing through within the next couple of hours. So if you're in downtown Starkville for Pumpkin Palooza, keep in mind we may be dealing with some showers, thunderstorms, and have a business that you can get inside of really quickly. All of this being initiated by a cold front back to the northwest of all of this rain. So thankfully, at least in my opinion, gonna get some cooler temperatures because right now it's a bit toasty out there. 81 in Calhoun City at this late hour. 80 in Ackerman, 81 in Louisville and Macon, 80 in Vernon right now. There is some little bit of cooler air, some upper 70s where there's been a little bit of rain around Tupelo, but most of us are in the 80s. Look, Philadelphia starting to see some storm clouds maybe ruling in, but here in Starkville, we're looking south from this view, so we're seeing sunshine. If we had a north view, we'd probably see some thunderstorms back off to our northwest. Our high resolution predictor has done a good job showing these thunderstorms popping up and about where they would be, but it hasn't done a great job about timing. So I like this model. It's showing again a few scattered showers and thunderstorms, but look at the time, 7 p.m., and that's what the radar looks like about now, about 4.15 in the afternoon. So again, I think these scattered showers and thunderstorms are going to be around, but I think they'll be out of here by about that 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock mark tonight and not midnight like the model is suggesting but again if you got late night plans it looks nice that rain should clear out but early on in the evening i think we're going to be dealing with thunderstorms 5 to 8 p.m prime thunderstorm time so pumpkin palooza it's going to be a little bit wet out there but again by that 10 11 p.m mark it's going to be nice temperature is going to stay right around that 80 degree mark for the next couple of days a few clouds here and there and maybe an isolated shower on monday but for the most part, we're going to be in the 80s, and those lows are going to be in the 50s. You can catch the full forecast anytime at weather.msstate.edu.